It's now time for the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap. We go all the way back to April the 10th of the year, 2023, when the Nashville Purrs were in Calgary with their season on the line, taking on the Flames. Sanford Glass, Thomas Hino make up the first line for John Hines in his deployment. Sherwood, Novak, and Evangelista. Your third line, Trenton Sissons, and welcome back, Yuso Parson into the lineup. Apinasev, Jankowski, and McCarron make up your fourth line. McDonough and Fabro, Barry and Livingstone, Sassany and Foot are your defense pairings, and UC Saros gets to start in this critical game for the Nashville Predators. Just 32 seconds into the first period, UC Saros coming up with a save on Richie. It's the first shot on goal of the game. 53 seconds into the game, Markstrom comes up with a save on Afanovsiev. It's first shot on goal for Nashville, 213 of the first period. Saros comes with a save on Tanev, plus the rebound shot that goes wide. Really good scoring opportunity there early in the game for the Calgary Flames. 348 of the second period. Marstrom comes up, or the first period. Marstrom comes up with a save on Sissons at close range. 529 of the first. Saros comes up with a save on Huberdo. First scrum of the game comes after that whistle. 549 of the first period. It's off Asiev's first goal as a Nashville Predator. First goal in the NHL, giving the Nashville Purs a 1-0 lead. It was Jankowski's hard forecheck that catches Markstrom in between and out of position, allowing the Nashville Predators rookie to get his first goal in the NHL, giving the Nashville Purves a 1-0 lead in this critical, critical playoff race implication game. 7.34 into the first period, it's Tyler Toffoli going off to the box. Two minutes for high sticking. Markstrom would come up with a save on Glass. Markstrom would then come up with a save on Barry and the puck would deflect off of Markstrom and off of the post before heading out. Really good scoring opportunity there for the Nashville Purves 10-15 of the first period, though. It's trending off the box. Two minutes for tripping. Saros is going to come up with a save on Lindholm. Then comes up with another save on Toffoli. Overall, Nashville Predators PK, good enough. 13-19 of the first period. Saros comes up with a save on Tanev. 14-18. Saros, a save on Mangiapane off of the rush at 16-08. Zadarov off to the box. Two minutes for holding. Trennan would hit the post. That would be all for this Nashville Predators power play. We hit the end of the first period, and the Nashville Predators are out shooting the Calgary Flames. 13 to 11. We are 55 seconds into the second period on the clean sheet. And it's UC Saros coming up with a save on Jonathan Huber. Doe, 137 of the second period. Saros comes up with a save on Coleman plus the rebound follow up. Really strong scoring chance there for Calgary. 217 of the second period. Dubay's off the box. Two minutes for high sticking. Markstrom would come up with one big save on Tommy Novak, but the PK for Calgary. Pretty strong in this opportunity. 459 of the second period. Markstrom comes up with a save on Trenton plus Sissons with the strong rebound jam right here. 533 of the second. Hoover was off the box. Two minutes for tripping. Great zone time for the Nashville Predators, but everything was kept well to the outside. Preds failed to generate a good scoring chance. 741 of the second period. It's Stetcher's third goal of the season. It was a wrist shot off of the post through the heavy screen. UC Saros was looking one way. The shot came from the other way. So UC Saros never had a chance on this one. Plus the kiss off the inside of the post never hurts. Calgary on the board now. Stetcher's third of the season. Tie game. One apiece midway through. 917 of the second period. McDonough is off to the box. Two minutes for high sticking. UC Saros comes up with one big save on Richie. But the National Players penalty kill overall very good. 14.30 of the second period. Saros, save on Tanev. 17.07. Saros, a save on Mangiapane. 17.24. Saros, a save on Richie. At 17.25 though, it's Sanford off to the box. Two minutes for slashing just after the save on Richie. Sanford comes crashing in. Deemed to be an illegal play with the stick. And that's going to lead the National Predators being on the penalty kill again. And it would be a strong penalty kill for the Preds. 19.37. Tanev's off to the box. Two minutes for holding. We would hit the end of the Second period, Calgary now out shooting Nashville 24-22. to We've got a 1-1 hockey game with the season on the line. A carryover into the third period on the power play for the Nashville Pairs of 1 minute and 38 seconds. That's where UC Saros is going to come up with the biggest save of the game to this point. It's on a shorthanded breakaway. Barry picks up a penalty on that shorthanded breakaway. Two minutes for hooking, so we would see a four-on-four four scenario for the next 32 seconds. That would come and go, and then the Calgary Flames would go on the penalty on the power play. The National Predators PK would hold strong under some very strong pressure at 4.02 of the third period. Sanford 
gets up second goal of the season. It was a loose puck stuff after Glass poked the puck from behind the net. It was just sitting there in the blue paint. Sanford gets to it before Markstrom or anyone else can find it. His second goal of the season is also the second goal of the game for the National Preds, giving the Preds a 2-1 to one lead. High event hockey because we're already on to the back of the sheet. 5-12 of the third period. Markstrom comes up with a save on Evangelista off of the rush at 7:36 of the third period. Saros comes up with another save on Tanev at 8:03 of the third period. Backlund's 19th goal of the season comes at the end of a tic-tac-toe after a turnover. It was Ryan McDonough with the uncharacteristic turnover. He dumped it from behind the net along the wall, could not get it out past the blue line. Calgary turned that play back around with some slick passing. Easy finish there from the face-off circle for Backlund. His 19th of the season ties the game up at two apiece. Midway through the third period, now 10-20 one through. Coleman's off the box. Two minutes for high. Sticking strong PK by the Calgary Flames. Calgary Flames penalty kill unit seemed to get better and better as this game went along. 13-53 of the third period. UC Saros comes with a save on Richie. 14-48 Saros. Another save on Weaker. 17-9 Saros. A save on Lynn Holmes. Redirect from well outside wide to inside. Would have gone into the net if Saros wasn't there. What an incredible redirect by Lynn Holmes. 18-26 Saros. Another save on Weaker. 19 19- 36 Saros. One more save on Dubay. The Nashville Predators survive regulation. UC Saros is putting in the work. At the end of regulation, we're tied at two apiece. Calgary, 41 shots on goal. The Nashville Predators, 27 shots on goal. Now into the three on three overtime. 129 in Saros comes with a save on Weger right there on the doorstep. First really good scoring opportunity of the overtime session. 328 into the OT. It's Saros coming up with a save on to Foley. 337. Markstrom comes up with with one of his better saves on Thomas Heater. And then 456, Markstrom has to come up with a save on Parson. It looked like Parson had a chance to put this one away there in the very final seconds of the overtime session. At the end of overtime, Calgary is out shooting Nashville now 44 to 28. By far, the dominating scoring opportunities went to the Calgary Flames in the three on three portion of the overtime. We go to the shootout again with the season on the line for the Nashville Predators. Huberdeau is a specialist in this situation and just seeing his name penned in you might as well make it one nothing and that's exactly what it is in the shootout he goes slow and low and puts on a plethora of moves before beating UC Soros now it was a hell of a duel between the two of them and Soros almost managed to outweigh Huberdeau but that is nearly impossible seriously Huberdeau is the best in the NHL at doing this glass with speed then makes it 1-1 for the Nashville prayers in the shootout UC Soros is able to get the Nashville prayers into the extra frame Novak with the quick hands two to one Nashville Predators win the shootout in the fourth round of the shootout they win the game in the shootout three to two overall and outshot by Calgary 41 to 27 in this game the Nashville Predators season continues and the Nashville Predators survive and UC Soros once again does all of the work out there. He keeps the Nashville Predators rolling, and he's going to force the Winnipeg Jets to have to eliminate the Nashville Predators by taking care of their own business. There will be no backing in for the Winnipeg Jets. After tonight, the Nashville Predators defeat the Calgary Flames in the shootout. UC Soros does the bulk of the work. Full analysis coming up next. The Renegades of Puck in the trenches. We sure to appreciate you listening to the Renegades of Puck podcast. That was the Rebirth Sports full game recap. Right back after these quick messages.